Hi and welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to look into something actually pretty simple but can be tricky sometimes. We're trying to get rid of the issues that come with the notch of the iPhone X and also several other Android phones which have the notch now. So let's look into this little application that, that I've built here. It's really, really, really simple. Um, we just have some standard HTML tags like a header, we have a default CSS file, there's not, not much in there. As you can see, it's just a reset style sheet, um, you know, defining some base fonts, nothing too fancy. Um, we have some default meta tags that you would usually would like to set for mobile. So we have the um, standard viewport tags and we have the meta tags for um, having a full full screen view if you add the web app to your home screen, which um, we're going to show you later. And next we have some styles for the header. So this is the blue bar over here. Um, also nothing too fancy, pretty standard. And we have a main part. The main part is oh, over here um, with just some dummy text. So that's it. Basically we just have the header and a main area with some text. So now what's the issue here? Um, you can see I fired up the iPhone 8 simulator here, um, but I've also an iPhone 10 simulator running here showing exactly the same app. And I mean, this looks quite all right, doesn't it? So um, yeah, kind of, because um, if we actually we can hide this, we don't need this. Whoops. Um, the thing is, if we rotate this to the left, you can see what's going on. iOS or Safari by default will add, will add some padding to the left and to the right, which kind of works because it will stop the notch from overlapping with your content but it looks like shit, right? So we want to fix this. Pretty simple, so rotate back. Um, I think there's another issue. Um, I, re I mentioned full screen apps before, right? Uh, with those meta tags over here. So if I add the app to our home screen and open it, let's see if we can see the issue here. Yeah, see, same thing on the top this time because on the full screen app, you have the notch in your way. So I was trying to be smart here and adding the padding on the top, which also looks like shit. So, whoops, this is, uh, okay. So let's remove this. Man, I can't get used to these freaking gestures on iPhone X. All right, so. Let's see how we can fix this. Um, and the solution to this is actually quite simple. There is a very good article on the uh, WebKit blog uh, created by Apple, which um, has this nice picture here and it defines um, these so-called safe area inset parts, which are the red parts here, you can see. And these are uh, values that you can use within CSS to determine how big those parts are. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set some um, some of these values. Uh, so for the left side, for example, it's safe area inset left and it's going to be an environment variable. So we're going to use this. I'm going to copy it and add it to my main part. So I'm gonna say padding left is this. And let's let's get rid of the padding uh, here for the moment and save it. And let's reload and rotate to the left. All right, so this hasn't done much yet because there's one more thing we have to do. Um, here, the, the meta viewport tag, this requires one very special tag. 
and I believe it's called cover. Let me see, here it is. Um, acquires viewport fit equals cover. So I'm gonna copy this and add it here. Save and let's refresh again. So see what it has done. If you set a viewport fit cover, it will basically remove the borders on the left and the right side. So to see what actually what it does is let's um, uncomment this again. All right, so this is what you would see if you would just add the new meta tag, right? So you, you now see your full screen app, but the notch will overlap on the left side. So in order to avoid this, you remove, remove the comments and we will add the padding on the left like this and refresh and it looks good. So we're gonna do the same on the right side because it's also possible that the user rotates the device to the right. And another thing that most people forget is actually having a padding on the bottom because of this stupid line over here. So um, we, we need some, some padding over there as well. So uh, edit here on the bottom, same thing. Oh, and refresh. So uh, now we don't have the problems anymore here on the bottom, right? We have enough space here. And if we rotate to the left, uh, the space on the left is okay. And the same thing on the right side. Now, the biggest problem now is if we're in, if we're in portrait mode um, and we want to use some padding here on the left and right side, um, this is currently not possible because we've already set our padding values to use the, the inset, right? So we have to do a little trick here, which is we're gonna use the ma max function and we're gonna set it to the padding value that you want. So we're gonna use 16 here or the um, safe area inset, which the browser gives us. So what it does is it's gonna check, um, is there a notch? If yes, then it's gonna use this. And if there's no notch, like right now in the portrait mode, then it's gonna use the um, value that, that we set here. So let's do the same thing over here. And I think the bottom, we, we don't have to set that. So, okay, so save it and reload. So now we have some nicer padding on the left and right side. Um, we're going to also add some padding on the top so it doesn't look, look too shitty. Uh, reload. Okay, so let's test everything again. Oh, come on, how do I move this? <laughs> Where the heck am I supposed to grab this thing? There we go. So rotate to the left. So now everything looks fine here and back and it's all cool. Okay, so this is step one. Um, if we now add the app to our home screen, let's check this out. And open it. So this is not too bad. We have our paddings on the on all four sides. Um, this is okay. But as you can see, now that we don't have the address bar of the browser anymore, um, the notch is overlapping with our content. Uh, so basically we have to do the same trick that we've done before. This time we have to use um, the header and add some spacing to it. So we have our header styles here. So we just add some padding to the top. Um, and we're just gonna copy the safe area code here. And this time we want to use the top area and save it and close it and reopen the whole thing. See, now it's looking good. That's what we want and it's all cool. Um, yeah, so that's it. Just a quick tip. 
Um, on our next video, we're going to do the same thing on a PhoneGap app with uh, and without Framework 7, because on PhoneGap and Cordova, this is a whole different story and a little more difficult. So um, if you're interested in this next video, please subscribe to this channel. And if this video was helpful to you, click on the like button and see you on the next video. Bye.